Welcome back to Diecast Resurrection. Today's project is a 1976 Hot Wheels Twin Mill 2. This thing's got a little bit of road rash. You see the intakes on my motors are getting pretty rounded off. That's probably just from being in a pail of cars for most of its life. I think it's kind of crazy that this thing doesn't have any, not even a trace of that Aztec Tampo on there, yet you try to find anything about an orange Twin Mill all you get is that Aztec one, so it's kind of, I don't know, it's like she's been washed clean. So I wasn't quite sure what I wanted to do with this thing today. All I knew was that the Aztec theme was out. Mm. This morning, I decided I was going to try do a Marlboro theme on this thing. So I had some decals in the old inventory that have been sitting around for a few years. Luckily, we have many different sizes and styles of lettering, so I'll be able to kind of pick and choose, maybe throw some of these little small mobile ones on there and even some of these little guys. So we got a little cheat sheet here, but for the most part, we're gonna be just inventing a cool Marlboro paint job for this thing. I'm pretty sure I have a couple sets of these wheels left, so we'll put some fresh blades on here, and uh, I don't know, I don't know about these motors. They're kind of rounded up, but we could either try to clean up these or I have some replacement twin mill motors, which would be from a Redline Anniversary Edition parts car. So we'll see how this looks. Maybe we'll switch these motors out for some fresh ones. These would have been made in, I think it was 1994 these came out. So, so maybe we'll put some freshies in there. I don't know, man. I want our Marlboro car to look nice. So we'll do what we can. All right. Big shout out to my patron members. We must be up to, what, like 54 or something by now? We got quite the little group forming in our Discord channel. So it's nice. The patrons have been my absolute lifeline over the last few months. Alrighty. Let's have a look-see here. Things are a little bit worn out, but I don't know if anything's going to fit better than those. Driving a twin mail is like laying on the beach. Get yourself a nice little drink. Oh, hell yeah. We might be painting the base on this one. I'm not sure what's gonna look the best. It might be cool to have a white base, like if the body was white and the base was white. I think that would probably be the best. What do you think, Big Jimmy? Should we paint the base on this one? You David Hasselhoff looking man's got a life preserver on. How can I trust his opinion? Guess we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. For now, we'll get the paint stripped off this thing and we'll just keep this party moving. These cars always look so mushed to me, you know? They look squished. Well, just for fun, let's see if this um, backup motor fits. I can't believe it even like plugs into like the original pegs. That's surprising. Those motors look a little bit smaller, don't they? I don't think they quite fill out the uh, allocated space as well. Definitely a little bit wider and they're a little bit thicker. You know what I mean? It's all about that girth. We will save for some sort of other creation where we make a twin mill Fox body Mustang or something stupid like that, you know? Or maybe a Monte Carlo. Clee, 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 clee. This one's even got the little turbo intake right above the dash. Man, I must be getting old. I've had that stupid gambler song stuck in my head like all morning. I don't know why. Turn it into an old man. Oh, come on, man. I don't know, I was just mixing it and it went off in my hand.
Alrighty, so I got my phone. I'm gonna try to use uh, this McLaren as my guide a little bit here, I think. And of course, it's gonna start with some one millimeter vinyls. We're gonna get a little bit of tape on that now just to keep those vinyls in check. So I had to come up with a cool livery design for this. And obviously there isn't gonna be anything online that I could use as a guide for this. So I kind of sat here for a little bit and kind of came up with this. So why don't we head to the spray booth and we'll hit this with a little bit of red and uh, we'll cross our fingers and hopefully we can make this thing look good. You know what I mean? I like where this is going. So I'm going to just start throwing on some decals wherever they make sense. Boom. That's going to look like a pack of cigarettes. Just preparing all my decals here. I had a little bit of a situation. I was throwing one on the hood and the black ink in the marble writing started running almost instantly. So these are, these are an eBay purchase from a few years ago before I really knew better, before I knew what I was buying. And these are just from, you know, some guy just made these things on his inkjet printer and he just sells them. Much better. I don't really trust these decals at all, so we're just gonna kind of set it and forget it in this situation. Uh, let's see here. I got a little, got a little one for the roof. These should all blend right down and look like paint when we're done. Got the little crest. I'm gonna put that one in there. Dude, dude, that looks pretty sweet actually. I'm kind of liking where this is going. I wouldn't have done this with a first generation twin mill, by the way, if any of those collectors that are raging right now, because this is the second gen is so like a less desirable model. And that's the only reason why I'm doing it. Cool, now we had some mobile one stuff. In case it's not obvious, I'm using micro set for all these decals on here. It's way easier I find than using water. Thing. This one. I like it. Boy, this thing's looking pretty intense from the back, isn't it? Hell yeah, she's like a work of art, this thing. Say she's looking pretty cool, but we're not done yet. I'm gonna put a little something on the side here. All right, so I'm almost ready to go clear coat this thing. One thing I would like to try to do though, maybe is get a couple little decals on our base just to kind of tie it together a little bit. Maybe we'll see how she looks roughly. This thing's looking pretty crazy so far, eh? Doesn't that look like a cigar boat? Probably would have looked better if I painted the red all the way down, but it's a little bit too late for that now. So let's see what I can do. Maybe we'll put a big Pirelli down there. 
Mobile one square, and then we'll put a Pirelli like under here somewhere. You're right. I agree with you. So while I'm working on the base, I'm going to go put this in the paint oven for a little bit and let these decals evaporate so I get a nice perfect clear coat on this. It's looking really good so far. I'm pretty excited about this one. The reveal should be nice. This will be just a glossy beast. All right, that's all I'm going to do to the base. Go Pirelli on the back. Little mobile one action. Once we put this thing together, it should look amazing. All right, so the last thing I got to do here is clean up our glass. It's just got a little bit of a uh, little wear and tear along the top here. This thing's looking so good. Oh, I can't wait. To, I can't wait for the reveal. My initial plan was I wanted to do like Harley Davidson style flames on the twin mill, but uh, this morning I was looking, trying to find some nice flame patterns. Couldn't find nothing. So at the last minute, I was like, you know what, let's just do a Marley one. And yeah, wow, I'm glad I did. And she's looking great. It's going to look really nice on the shelf too. This is another little piece I can put in the paint oven to cure. But all my little hemostats are busy, so actually this thing's got a pretty big base itself. So I'm just going to go set this in the paint oven. Once this cures, we can do the ultimate reveal. Get ready for this one. She's beautiful. So what do you guys think of this beast? I think it looks amazing. I never would have dreamed that it would turn out this good. I just kind of went on a Marlboro theme on a whim this morning without any uh, rhyme or reason. And this is where we end up. And I absolutely love this thing. It's one of a kind beauty. Hopefully you guys liked it as well. Make sure you leave a like to support the channel. I say hello in the comments. Ring that little notification bell to be reminded whenever I post videos. And I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. This thing looks amazing. Take care guys. I'll see you later.